What if I told you that the world's most renowned conqueror, Alexander the Great, once embarked on a journey that would take him to the edge of the known world, to a land full of mysteries and wonders, that is, India. The year was 324 before the Common Era. Alexander, a young Macedonian king, had already conquered Persia, the largest empire of the time, and was now setting his sights further east, towards India. Alexander's motivation was not just territorial expansion, but also a deep curiosity for the world and its mysteries. The journey began from Babylon, Alexander's recently acquired capital. With an army of about 100,000 soldiers, he set out towards the east, crossing the Hindu Kush mountains, a formidable barrier that had kept the western and eastern worlds apart. After a grueling trek through the mountains, Alexander and his army reached the Indus River. Here they encountered their first Indian king, Omphis of Taxila. Omphis, realizing the futility of resisting the mighty Macedonian force, welcomed Alexander and became his ally. With a local ally on his side, Alexander continued his march further into India. His next major encounter was with King Porus at the Battle of Hedaspes, one of the most significant battles in Alexander's Indian campaign. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Porus put up a fierce resistance. However, Alexander's superior tactics and the might of his forces ultimately led to Porus's defeat. Yet Alexander was so impressed by Porus's bravery and leadership that he reinstated him as the ruler of his kingdom. This was an unusual gesture, showcasing Alexander's respect for valiant enemies. After the Battle of Hydaspes, Alexander wanted to push further into India, but his weary troops, who had been on campaign for nearly a decade, refused. They yearned for their homeland, and so, reluctantly, Alexander agreed to turn back. The journey back home was not easy. Alexander and his army had to cross the hostile Makran Desert, where many of his men perished due to the harsh conditions. Finally, in 323 before the Common Era, they reached Babylon, ending their long journey. To sum up, Alexander the Great's journey to India was one of the most remarkable episodes in his illustrious career. It was a journey marked by great battles, alliances, a clash of cultures, and a deep sense of curiosity. It showcased Alexander's military genius, his diplomatic skills, and his ability to adapt to new cultures and situations. Historically, Alexander's journey to India opened up the Western world to the riches and knowledge of the East. It marked the beginning of the Hellenistic period, a time when Greek and Eastern cultures mixed, leading to significant advancements in various fields like art, science and philosophy. It was a journey that changed the course of history, a journey that still resonates in the annals of time.